Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. And first off, I want to say Happy Thanksgiving. Um, I hope that you have a great holiday season and fun time with your family and friends, whatever it is you're doing. Today I wanted to show you two Christmas strawberry shortcake journals that I've been working on. I've been showing sneak peeks here and over on Instagram. But I finished them up and just in time for the holiday season and I think they turned out really cute. So these books are approximately six by nine and I'll have all the details on my Etsy listing for you, how many pages and everything. Um, but they are made with a book. So I recycled a book to make the cover. The, the spine is about an inch and a quarter, I believe. There's three signatures. There is a tassel and a charm dangle. So the tassel here has some Christmas fat yarn, some chenille yarns, regular yarns, and then some ribbons. It has this vintage Christmas strawberry shortcake ribbon in it. And then the charm dangle is on a lobster clasp, so you can take it off if you'd like and put it somewhere else on the book. But it has a red and green jingle bell, another little tiny green bead charm on there, and then I made UV resin strawberries and made it into a charm. So that is really cool. I've never done this before. I will be having a video up soon where I am trying out some silicone molds, and so I had a lot of fun with that. And then on the front, it's all tied up with the screen ribbon. And then I covered everything with vintage strawberry fabric. So on the front, there's this tiny print. And then on the back, there is a larger print that's white with red and white polka dot strawberries. They're super cute. I added rickrack on it for detail and then the green pom-pom trim along the bottom that goes all the way around and then this piece here is a piece of vintage strawberry shortcake ornament fabric that you buy it by the piece that has 20 of these and you, you're supposed to sew these little panels together and then stuff them to make ornaments for your tree but in my case I use them on the covers so I sewed this piece to a piece of polka dot fabric there and then just cut that out. I added this little sequin strawberry up here at the top and then also I had these wood strawberries that I glued on and then added a little little um, jewel or a flat back rhinestone, not a, it's not a real rhinestone but you know what I mean. And then let's see we'll move on here. So I'll show you each of these books. I'm going to do a detailed kind of talk through this first one. And then the second one, I'll just do, you know, I'll just flip through and you can see it. They're pretty much the same. They have the same amount of pages and similar, but some of the vintage or the book pages in here are different. So, yeah. So on, on the inside here, I made a little pocket with the strawberry shortcake. And then I altered a little green bingo card. On this side, I had some of some strawberry shortcake wrapping paper. This is one of the kind of in between, um, not the newest strawberry shortcake, but the one when my daughter was a child. She's 24 now, so <laughs> I'm not sure what that time period was. The early 2000s, I think. So I just made a belly band with that. Put some strawberry note paper in there and then I made a little ruffle with another piece of the vintage Christmas strawberry shortcake ribbon. This paper is I think it's a hot buy and I don't remember yeah I'm not sure I can't remember the if that was oh well anyway next page I made a pocket here and then I paper pieced a strawberry shortcake. Each one will have one of these. Um, so really cute. Has that one another sequin 
strawberry on the top. And then here is some journaling paper with, with strawberry shortcake down there. I stamped a strawberry here, added rickrack, and then I sewed a doily onto a vintage um, subject page or like a planner page. And then I had these really cute strawberry shortcake flashcards. And then on this side, I did a little more stamping on a dyed note card. And here I have some a strawberry lunch sack. And then I stuck another little notepad paper in there. This was some fun, some fun paper that I dyed using Distress Ink. So it's kind of a shimmery red. And then I added pom-pom trim. Here is another, this is a vintage music notebook page. And then I stamped a strawberry up there. And then on this side, I added washi tape with a strawberry game token from a strawberry shortcake board game. Added some fabric there. And then this is some strawberry shortcake wrapping paper. I just made it into a pocket. It's kind of thin, but you can still add stuff in there. But by itself, it would have been pretty thin just as a page. So I added it, made it like two sides. And then I altered another vintage bingo card there. That's inside. Here's the center here. And then this is an altered time card. And this is a paper piece strawberry there. Alrighty, go on here. I stamped that, it's just so very sweet, and added a sticker down below. Washi tape on this side. Over here, I sewed on another one of the panels from that vintage ornament fabric. And then here is a journaling card of Mary's a strawberry shortcake. This is a printable. There's some, there's a few printable things, and then there's lots of, like, original strawberry shortcake items in here. I altered a little memory decks card. That's from the ribbon that I cut out. Added a pocket there. And then there's three altered paper clips for this one. Here is a memory, strawberry shortcake memory game piece. So put that up there. And then on the other side... It's just a strawberry sticker. This is my strawberry. Make sure that's in there. Added a ruffle of ribbon there. And then some lined strawberry paper that I made with some clip art there. Over here is a little pocket. And then I altered a um, paint chip card. And over here is another belly band, and here is a cute little picture, strawberry shortcake picture. And then over here I made an envelope with my strawberry paper, and then this is a really cute little set. Um, this I printed out. It is a strawberry shortcake paper doll set, and it comes with the strawberry, and then the little Christmas outfit and the little hat. <laughs> it's cute, so that fits in there. Oops, I'll stick her in the front. She kind of sits in there, so I thought that was cute. I added this really cute um, lace trim on the side there that's hearts. Over here, I made a scrap little tuck spot and put in this vintage um, Betty Crocker recipe card that's for fruit salad, so it has strawberries on there. Ledger paper, I put some ribbon on that side. This is a book page from a strawberry shortcake book. And then here is a coloring book page. I altered an old transparency frame thing and just added a little game token and then a little printable very licious there. This is avocado stained paper 
And then over here I added some Monopoly money. Here is a vintage Christmas strawberry shortcake napkin. And then some fun lined green paper and I added some lace on the side. This is a fussy cut piece from the wrapping paper. And then up here, I just had this little ruffle that I sewed and then I added a little saying here that says, you are the straw to my berry. And then a little strawberry button and it kind of goes off the side there. The other side of the napkin, I added rickrack there, another sticker, and then here's the other side of the coloring book pages. Stamped on that side. This is a strawberry, canned strawberry label. Vintage. So that sticks in the top there. It's a pocket. And then I added more of the ribbon. This is a little flip out page, the strawberry image there, and then I added a ruffle on the side. And then on here, I was playing around my friend, I went crafting to a friend's house, I'm happy to plan here on YouTube, and she had this fun little um, die cut, and so it makes these little flaps, and I left it open under here so that whoever received this book can insert their pictures or whatever they want to do and then they can glue down the edges like that but then I alter like added little decorations to the flaps so that's what that is and then over here this is another it's a graph vintage graph paper I made a little paper clip up here with one of the strawberry little um I don't know what it's called, it's cabochon or something like that. It doesn't have a, it's not a button, but you could make it probably into a button, I don't know. But anyway, there are some tickets and a vintage candy cane Christmas um, to and from thing there. And then I paper pieced a large strawberry. Here is another lunch sack. It's a red and white polka dot and then another fussy cut image from the wrapping paper. This is an, some of the wrap, another wrapping paper piece and then I just made it into a little pocket so there's more note paper there. Here's some candy cane paper and then it also has this print on that side. I added this vintage like lace trim on the side, it's red and green. And then here's another Strawberry Shortcake book page, and I added a vintage milk cap at the top. On this side, I added this little um, pocket little die piece there, and then just added some things in here. This is a, one of the memory game pieces. And over here, there is a strawberry shortcake playing card or a flash card and then on the lunch sack I made this tag with my strawberry fabric and a piece of the wrapping paper alrighty and then it has some pom-pom trim and this is the last page so here is another altered memory decks card and then this is an altered note card that is dyed with, I think I used just food coloring for this one, but it has the game token there and it says have a very Merry Christmas on it. And then the last pocket is a little tuck pocket. It opens up on the side here and the top. And then this is a little tag, little mini junk journal that I had made in a video previous. Um, so it's super cute with some dies. So that's sticking in there and that is it. Here's the back again. So super cute. 
And now I will go into the second one. So I'll have this listed on my Etsy shop. This will be Strawberry Shortcake Christmas Journal number one. And then this other one will be number two. So you'll know when to go, when you go over to my shop to look at it, that that's what this one is. And I'll try and capture the pages that are unique, the those book pages, so so you'll know. Yeah. Alrighty, so we'll go into the other one, and I'll just put on some music, and you can look at the other book.
All right, guys, so here's the two journals. Thank you for sticking through the video and flipping through with me. Hopefully you will go ahead and check them out over on my Etsy shop. I will be, I have a sale going on on all my previously listed items in my shop. So check those out. These will not be for like on a sale percentage off, but um, since I'm listing them new for the season, but my other stuff will be on a sale. So check out everything there. If you aren't able to pick these up or anything else, I just hope that they inspire you to work on journals of your own. And yeah, hopefully you will, you are subscribed and that you click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a video. Follow me over on Instagram at Creative Crafticality and I post sneak peeks and reels and things like that over there as well. So yeah, have a happy Thanksgiving and I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.